Hi, I'm Sean Wilson, Secretary for the Department of Transportation and Development in the great state of Louisiana. As you may know, Louisiana is in a very difficult place financially in terms of its ability to keep up with the cost of inflation and the cost of construction, um, as well as to sustain our transportation system like many of you. What we've done here in Louisiana has been phenomenal over the last three years. We've been very competitive at the national level in terms of discretionary grants having been successful in a fast lane grant, but we had to get the projects ready and out the door in a very quick-like fashion. The other thing that we've been able to do is to accelerate our program with Garvey. While 20 plus other states have used Garvey, Louisiana has been uh, somewhat behind in being able to use that tool, but as I sit here today, we've issued our first round of Garvey to move projects that have been in our statewide transportation plan for a number of years. Very early in this administration, we were successful at competing for fast lane dollars, and we're able to replace the very worst section of I-10 here in Louisiana, about 15 miles of it. The original pavement, in fact, is being replaced. And as a result of that successful effort, we've been able to accelerate another project that we began designing at risk and are soon cutting the ribbon on Terra Street in Baton Rouge. That project is going to reduce the major weaving taking place for the one stretch of I-10 where it goes to one lane between California and Florida. Another major project also on this corridor of I-10 is the Highland to 73 design build. Just so happens to be the fastest design build project in the history of Louisiana coming in at right under nine months. Louisiana is also embarking in new territory in terms of public-private partnerships. We had a 50 plus year old bridge and a 50 plus year old tunnel that needed to be replaced that we just didn't have the resources to do. We've been able to cobble together with the help of the federal government, infra grant dollars, state maintenance dollars, as well as some local revenue from the MPO, and are looking to the private sector to make up the difference of a 125 plus million dollar bridge to service a major port, as well as a great fishing area and a Bell Chase military installation. Many of these assets and tools that we're using today have been done in other places, but here's the magic in Louisiana. We've been able to move all of these varied approaches of procurement and the speed of work all at the same time. Altogether, it's a result of innovation and efforts concerted to be able to deliver infrastructure for the citizens of Louisiana in an environment that may not have happened without the leadership and support that we've received from the federal government, the state government, and of course, the good working people here at DOTD. Thank you.